and splashdown. Finally, back on earth. For Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, a splashing finish to an unexpectedly long journey. Welcome home. The veteran astronauts spent 286 days in space after their test flight aboard Boeing Starliner spacecraft abruptly ended due to technical problems, leaving them on the space station, but also giving scientists a chance to study their health for clues that could help future missions to Mars. I think that healthcare delivery is actually the, the number one issue that needs to be uh, resolved before we're ready to, um, to launch the, the first crew. Canadian Dr. Robert Thursk spent about six months in space. He's felt the heavy toll space travel takes on the mind and body, impacting everything from his bones, heart and lungs, to vision, muscles and immune system. A return trip to Mars could take 21 months. That mission will be much more difficult on the body because of its length and also because of its remoteness from, from Earth as well. So it's really kind of using this as a step-by-step -step process. Preparation we have. Doctors say what's learned from each mission helps improve training, equipment and technology for longer trips. Unlike the space station, scientists say it would take 20 minutes to send a message from Mars one way. If an astronaut had a heart attack, they'd need a doctor on board or a way to deliver health care remotely. So it's really looking at how can we make our health system and delivery more autonomous, uh, involving incorporating whether AI, machine learning, and really trying to see that we're adequately ready for those processes. Williams and Wilmore will now undergo weeks of testing, in part to find out how to deliver better health care deeper in space, which could also translate into better care for people living in remote communities right here on Earth. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.